Hey guys, I want to give you a fun way to understand face control. It's just down here and we were playing lacrosse earlier today with, with uh, my son and I was messing around and I started thinking about how I could use this with, with golf just to explain some things. Maybe not for people to do it at home, but if they have little mini lacrosse sticks, you can certainly try it. But it's just the face awareness. And if we can control our face, we can really make the ball go where we want it to go. That's the number one contributing factor in start line. Of, of the balls, what the face looks like. So controlling face, controlling path, we're going to have a pretty good mixture. We're going to hit the ball pretty straight or in the direction that we want it to go or end up where we want to go. So when I first started doing this, my goal was just get it up to the top of the swing, come down and just try to get it to go straight. So it hit the ground here and rolled straight, which means that I came down my face started to square up and rotate down so I could throw the ball straight down as I worked into my fall through position. Now, not really following through, I'm just coming down to go, where can I get my face really just prior to impact? And we really want it more square, square, perpendicular to our, to our path, just before impact. So if we can get it square, perpendicular to our path, before impact and stay square for a long time, we're going to hit the ball really well. But if it's if it's open or closed quite a bit just before impact, then we have to do too much manipulation or the ball is going to go in that direction. For me, my face tends to be too open. So my lacrosse net's going to be pointing towards towards the, the wall over here, towards my right in front of me. So when I first did this, I came down with some speed. I threw it and the ball kind of went behind me, went over to the side over here, one here, kind of went all over the place. Because what I'm doing is my face is open, my lacrosse net is pointing upwards, and I'm trying to release the club like this. So when the ball comes out, it rocket ricochets to the right. So I needed to start to understand and feel, okay, what is it like to come down? And turn that thing down better and as I turn the shaft down and I turn the face down and shift and turn now that ball starts to hit kind of right out in front of me and starts to go straight and I just have to slow it down I can't do it fast yet I'm trying to work on that so but it's a good way of understanding what the face is going to do I'm going to work down and again went dead straight bounced right about here went in the direction I want to go so I know that I turned it down quicker and better once I start to feel that, I can match up my body and hit a lot better shots and have much better face control. So it's an interesting way of understanding it and the better, maybe a nice visual for everybody. But understand that you're gonna take a stick like this and you're gonna throw the ball into the ground in front of you as if the, you're gonna throw it on your target line, okay? And that means you're getting the face to square up, coming in impact, and you're not releasing the club this way where the ball would ricochet all over the place and not go straight. 